how to create low level and high level boards on monday.com hey guys welcome back so oftentimes people ask if they are looking to build two separate boards one that has details and one that is a higher level board how can they connect that information and without having to go into each individual board manually over and over again well i'll show you guys exactly how to do that and there are primarily two different ways you can do this so let's take a look now i have an example over here you know we just have like a high level board and then you guys can see from the low level board we have of our task one and then the mirror of the status appearing over here now if i want to do this first off i'm just going to build a new board and a high level board project abc and then i'm just going to convert this into project so instead of items i'm going to be managing projects in my high level board and then once i've created this board i'm going to create a similar board called a low level board low level projects abc so now i have two separate boards well, first off we have our high level board for project abc and then we have a low level board on the high level board make sure to select projects instead of items and then on the low one we have our actual items now the first thing i like to do is what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename this into project one or you know whatever is the title of your project now what i'm going to do is from here we are going to go into the low level projects board and we are going to click on add column now from here you are just going to search for board and you can click on connect boards over here once you click on connect boards click on select boards and then choose the board that you want to connect which is going to be our high level board for project abc then on the bottom you have an option to create a two-way connection so the same connection would be built on our high level board and then you're just going to click on connect over here once you do that you're going to click on create a mirror column just like that now once once you've completed this you're going to find the same thing is going to be created on your high level board now you have to manually input each field however that can be a super long and tedious process which is not worthwhile so to be able to do this more efficiently and i like to do this in a simpler fashion so open up your low level board once you have opened up your low level board click on these three dots on the top menu bar so once you click on these three dots on the top menu bar now i'm just going to name the item over here to be task one and then task two you know whatever is the task name you're just going to enter that i'm just going to rename these just so it's easier for you guys to understand and i'm going to add different statuses of these tasks like this or let's say this is just stuck like this so i've added these statuses the dates so i'll just add a new date on all of these as well like this and once i've inserted all of this information i can go on ahead and go into our first board and i'm going to rename the first item over here into project one so this is the project item and this could just be abc the group name is just going to be abc and then in this we have project and in that we have project one so let's say all of these tasks are related to project one now i'm just going to rename the group in my low level board to be project one and then in my low level board i'm gonna click on these three dots and then once i click on these three dots there is this pen icon so it's called item default values so you're gonna click on item default values over here and you will see you have a person status date now below that at the bottom you have the high level project abc and what you're going to do is you are going to select that over here and if you scroll down you have your project one that all of these items are related to so you're going to select Select project one over here and then just click on OK and click on save changes. Now what this will do is that this will automatically import all of the items into your low level link and from your low level project into your high level one. So now if I ma make a mirror over here in my high level board where I want to illustrate, you know, the data like this and I want to get information about the group or, you know, however they are categorized. So whatever info i want i can display that over here like this and then you will see we will have all of our tasks added like this so you can you know add a default view over here as well so if i go back into our mirror 
over here we're going to make sure that it is connected so this will automatically be connected via our dashboard settings it can take a couple of seconds for the settings to be affected and to you know add all of our items over here but we're just going to make sure that our connection is saved up so this is this has been connected already and we're just going to click on save just like that and you guys will see now this project one has the status of stock and then we have item two item one and then our link for that particular board can be displayed over here now you guys can see you have multiple different tasks that can be displayed however there is a alternate way for you to do this so if you want to do this in a different manner and you want to set this to default so if you want to build this in a new way you can go back into the default values and clear all values now once you clear all values on both of your board so make sure to clear all values like this and remove any pre-existing link that you built up so if i open this up over here we have two links that we have built up so i am just going to remove any of the links like this just making sure i've left the initial link and you're not going to do this step instead you can put in a automation so by a automation add your tasks to your high level board from the low level one to be able to do that you are just going to head on over to your low level board once you go into the low level board now keep in mind all of your boards need to be in the same workspace to be able to actually connect them so just open up your low level board and you're going to click on automations on the top right now once you click on automations it, first off i like to make it easier on me so i like to add a column and i just like to add the column of status and then the status is um i'm going to click on edit labels and i like to add the name of my project so i have project one as the status and i'm going to click on edit label and then we have the second status as project two and then what i'm going to do is all the projects that are in project one i'm going to label them over here as project one now once i've done that i go into automations and then i like to go ahead and click on status change so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on ahead and use this template now you can always edit this as you go but i'm going to add when a status one or you know your instead instead of status one we just add project title project title like this and then i'm going to go back into automation so i can have you know the correct spellings over here so when the status of when the project title changes to project one then i like to go on ahead and you're gonna search for high level board or if you're then i want to go on ahead and we're gonna search for create move item from board create item from board or if you scroll down you will have the option of replicating or displaying them in your linked board so you can search for the second board name if you can't find that option always go on ahead and build another connection to your initial board like this so we have high level project abc create a two-way connection create a mirror column like this so we have the board connection over here and then we're going to build automations over here once more and we're going to go into statuses over here click on use template and once we do that we are just going to choose the project title then we want to move item uh, to group and not group i want to group move this to group one or to move item to board one as well so we can duplicate item and we can duplicate the item with updates plus we can add it to our new board as well so in this way you can build two different types of high level and low level boards and import data automatically from one board to another so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe